हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल माई सेल पर जाबुलकर इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन डिफरेंट डेटा मैनेजमेंट टूल्स इन सेल फोर्स आल्सो वी हैव सीन डिफरेंस बिटवीन डेटा इनपुट विजर्ट एंड डेटा लोडर इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी हाउ टू यूज डेटा इनपुट विजर बिफोर प्रोसीडिंग फर्दर वॉट वी विल डू वील गो थ्रू द फीचर्स ऑफ डेटा इम्पोर्ट विजर्ट सो सी इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन इट इज इन ब्राउजर विजर्ट दैट इम्पोर्ट्स यूर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन डेटा दैट मीन्स we can use it in browser and it is used for import purpose okay so from the name only we will come to know it is used for the import purpose by using data import wizard we can work on 50000 records at once data import wizard work with some specific standard objects for example see accounts contacts leads solution these are the standard objects and it can work with all custom objects this data import wizard does not work with opportunities object next Data import wizard does not give detail log. Data import wizard does not support to schedule data loads. Data import wizard does not support delete operation. So see, data import wizard support insert update operation, but it does not support delete operation. During import, if there is duplicate data, then it will be ignored. So all these are features of data import wizard. Now we will use data import wizard and we will see how data can be imported. For that we have to follow these steps. So see, these are the nine steps which we have to follow while uploading the data. Now what we will do? We will go step by step. Now see, what is the first step? We have to prepare the data file in .csv format. Now see, if we click on this leads, so see, we got this leads page. Now see, if I click on this new, so all these are the different fields in leads object, right? so uh, first name last name company title all these are the different fields and whatever those are mentioned by this red line those are compulsory see here it is given required information so while preparing csv file or data file compulsory we should have fields for this required fields and other fields are optional now see we have to prepare our csv file so see already i have created this csv file now see this is dot csv file and how can we create dot csv file it's very simple we have to create data like this these are the field names in the first row these are the field names this is the data right and while saving this file we have to save it as a dot csv file so see save as browse here you can see csv format so from this we can choose format you can give some name and we have to save so already i have saved this file as a dot csv file okay so we have this dot csv file okay so we have done this first step right now see what we'll do we'll mark it as a bold that means we have done this step okay then next step launch data import wizard okay we have to launch data import wizard so from where we can launch here we have to click on setup okay here we will type data import wizard so see here we got data import wizard we'll click on this okay so we got this data import wizard so see we'll scroll down and we will click on launch wizard okay so our data import wizard is launched so we have completed our second step okay so we'll make it bold okay now third step select the standard or custom object in the wizard okay so to which object we want to import data that object we have to choose okay so see on left hand side we have option which object we want to choose for the importing purpose so see custom object we can choose from this standard objects we can choose from this so see uh, when we have seen difference between data import wizard and data loader so at the time we have seen data import wizard work with specific objects for example accounts contacts leads solution it doesn't work with opportunities object okay now see we want to upload data in leads object right so what we will do we will select this okay now see so we have selected standard custom object in the widget okay so we will make it bold okay that also we have done now see next step select the activity to be performed and what are the activities insert update upset insert means we are creating or uploading new records update means those records are already present and we are updating it and upset upset is combination of these two insert and update so what is the meaning of upset if 
record is not present in the object so it will get inserted and if record is already there then it will get updated okay so we have to select the activity okay so see here these are the three activities insert then below that we have update and below that we have upset that is insert and update okay now see here we have option match lead by so here in data file we are searching records by this way so that option we have to choose so see this is insert then this is update and third option is upset that is insert and update now see in this csv file here we are importing four records right and out of these four records this second record this for example ka record that i am updating this record is already there in object their company name is pi city i am changing it to wipro and these three records sachin tendulkar virat kohli and mahendra singh dhoni so these three records i am inserting these records are not present in the object and these three records i am updating i am inserting there and this second record i am updating there okay now see so that's why i have chosen this third option upset that is update and insert okay and we want to match records by name okay so we want to search in object file records by name okay other things will keep default okay so this thing also we have done we have chosen operation so this operation also we have done select the activity to be perform okay so this operation also we have done this activity also we have done now next step upload dot csv file okay so here we have option to upload csv file okay so csv file that i am clicking here then we have to choose file so our file name is data to import 2 okay so this file i am uploading okay here we got this file see data to import 2 dot csv okay so that we have done now we will click on next okay so see we have done this operation so i am making it bold okay now what is the next step maps the fields in the data file with the fields in the object okay so see after clicking on next we got this now what is here these are the headers in our csv file and these are the fields from the object now see by default data import wizard has given this mapping if we want we can change it so see as per the name data import wizard has matched this field so see in our file there was first name and data import wizard has mapped with first name field in our uh, file there is last name field and in object there is last name field in our uh, data file we have company field and this is the field from the object accordingly we have mobile mobile lead status and lead status this is the mapping given by the self force or data import wizard but if you want we can change it so see here we have option to change mapping see if i click here so if suppose i don't want to map with the first name in object suppose i want to map with title so accordingly i can do it so i want to keep default mapping so i will keep as it is here i am clicking on cancel okay so this is the mapping right so this step is also done right maps the fields in the data file with the fields in the object okay so i am making it bold okay so that is also done then next perform the import okay next step so we'll click on next so see it is showing map fields 5 why 5 so see here how many fields were there 1 2 3 4 5 and in previous web page we have seen all the five fields have map right then we have to click on start import okay congratulations your import has started click okay to view your import status on the bulk data load job page see bulk data load job page we'll click on okay okay so we got this bulk data load job page here is the details of our import operation or activity so see so perform the import that operation also we have done the next step monitor the job status and on what bulk data load jobs page right so by default we got this bulk data load job page so here we can see how many records are processed how many are filled so all this data is given here right if we want we can open this web page separately so see how we can open it what is the name of this page bulk data load job right so here we will search bulk data so see here we got bulk data load jobs okay now see here it is showing all our activities and our recent activities this right so we'll click on this 
and here we can see status of our activity right so see records process 4 right and how many are filled 0 right and status is completed so whole status is given here now see so that step also we have done now see suppose if any record is filled maybe because of some reason for example validation so because of that if any record is filled now we have to track it right so how we can track so here here on bulk data load page here we have option of view result right we'll click on this okay we'll open this okay now see okay so see uh, so we have uploaded four records right these are the id of four records here it is given success true that means all records are succeeded created so see first it is showing uh, false because that record was already there we have just updated it and these three new records we have created that's why it is showing true and first record is updated so that new record is not created already that record was existed there that record is updated that's why it is showing false otherwise the meaning are true error so there is no error that's why it is showing null md if there is any error so that error here it will show right so in this way we can track the records now see if we want to see those records so that we'll see here we'll click on leads okay now see today's records we'll see so today's leads okay so these are the today's leads right so Sachin Tendulkar, Virat Kohli, Mahindra Singh Dhoni. So these new records are created, right? And one record was updated, right? So all open leads. So see, Parag Zambulkar. So this record I have updated. Previously, company name was PI City. I have changed it to Vipro. Okay. So we have done this last step. So in this way, we have seen how to use data import wizard in Salesforce. In next video, we will see how to use data loader. So friends, I hope you like this video. If it is, then click on like, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video. So stay connected. Thank you.